what is parity and what is a parity bit. Now let us see why a parity bit is added whenever data is transmitted. Now before I proceed, make sure that you go through all the lecture videos on digital electronics which is available in the eye icon or in the playlist digital electronics. Now when we have data which moves from the transmitter to receiver, so let this be the transmitter and let this be the receiver. Let us assume that I have an 8-bit data 10010011 which is moving from the transmitter to the receiver. This happens to be the channel and the channel can be wired or wireless so we are not worried about that. So this 8-bit data moves along the channel and reaches the receiver. Now when this data reaches the receiver it is important for us to check if the data received is correct. Is there an error or not is what we need to identify. And hence we add an extra bit which is referred to as the parity bit. So why is parity used? Parity is actually used to detect errors. So we have to detect if there is an error. Now basically we detect a single bit error. What are we detecting? We are detecting a single bit error. When we have data once and zeros moving along the channel, now how do we define an error? An error occurs because of noise present. An error occurs if a 1 was transmitted but is received as 0 or if 0 was transmitted and is received as 1. So when do we have an error? An error occurs when bit 1 is transmitted and that bit is received as 0. That means 1 changes and is received as 0 or if bit 0 is transmitted and 0 gets received as 1. So in that case there is an error. So here using a parity bit we can detect the presence of a single error. Let's assume that this is the data which is transmitted. So 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. When I want to add a parity, we have two different options. The first one is known as even parity. So let's see what an even parity is. So in even parity, an extra bit is added. So along with these eight bits, an extra bit is added such that the total number of bits. So what is even parity? When I transmit eight bits, along with these eight bits, an extra bit is added such that the total number of ones including the parity bit is even. So here let us count the number of ones. How many ones are there? So definitely there are four ones. So since there are even number of ones, this is going to be zero. So if I count the number of ones, it is going to be even because I have four ones. So therefore the parity bit is zero. But if I have a data, for example, one one zero 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 one zero zero, So I have eight bits. So if I count the number of ones, it is 3, so the parity bit will be 1. So the total number of bits, the total number of ones is even. Okay. So we have to count the total number of ones in case of even parity and they have to be even. If there is a single bit error, let us assume that one of the bit is an error. Let's say this bit is an error, so this gets changed from 0 to 1. So I have 1101010001. Now the receiving end, I count the number of ones and I have five ones here. But the parity is even parity. So there has to be even number of bits, but I have five ones. So therefore at the receiving end, I know that there is an error. And what can be done? The data can be retransmitted. So this is as far as even parity is concerned. But when we talk about odd parity, the total number of ones in the entire data, including the parity bit, should be odd. So if I consider the same data, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and this is the parity bit. Since we are using odd parity, I have 1, 1, 1, 1. How many ones are there? There are four ones. So therefore I add another one, so therefore the number of ones become odd. Or if I consider 
this data which is 11000100. How many ones are there? There are three ones. So therefore you have odd number of ones. So the extra bit added is zero. So I have odd number of ones. So here it is three and here it is five. So in this case, let us assume that this one is an error. So one gets changed as zero. I have one one zero 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 and zero. So the receiving end, we count the number of ones and we find that this is even. I have even number of ones, isn't it? Because there are two ones. That means this data is in error. So if the data is in error, the correct data is retransmitted. So a parity bit is actually used to detect single bit errors. So we only can detect the presence of single bit errors. I only can know that this data is in error, but I will not be able to identify which bit is in error. So here the fourth bit was in error, but whereas here the sixth bit was in error. So it is not possible for us to identify the position of error, which bit is in error, and we cannot correct it, but we only can identify whether there was a single bit error or not. Of course, there are a number of techniques where we can identify the exact position of the errors and even correct them. There are many algorithms which are available which can identify the position of the error and also correct them. Of course, this is beyond the scope of this lecture. So here in this video segment, we have known what a parity bit is, why is it used to detect errors and to identify whether there is a single bit error and what is an even parity. In even parity, the total number of ones including the parity bit should be even, whereas in odd parity, the total number of ones including the parity bit should be odd. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads.